Hi, my name is Heidi Hestrick, Richmond High School Biomedical Sciences teacher, and today I'm going to show you how to check out the external anatomy of a heart. We're going to be using a sheep's heart. This is a Carolina Perfect Solution sheep's heart, and a sheep's heart is anatomically extremely similar to a human heart, which is why we're going to use this. I always tell my students to open the bag over the dissecting pan because sometimes there are some juices and it's better for those to go into the pan. This one's not particularly juicy. And then when you look at the heart, the very first thing that you need to do is to determine what is the front or the anterior part of the heart and what's the back or posterior part of the heart. So go ahead and take a look. Do you think this is the anterior? front portion or this and if you said this is the anterior portion you are correct the way I know that is it comes up higher in the front it sort of dips down in the back and also the coronary arteries crisscross um, from right to left a bit across the front. The apex also points slightly to the right if you're looking at the front of the heart. Whereas if you're looking at the back, you just have a major coronary artery kind of splitting it down the middle. It comes down lower in the back and the apex is pointed more toward the left. So we're going to look at the anterior portion of the heart. The first thing to identify is the different kinds of tissues. So you can see there's this white tissue and there's this darker pinkish brown tissue and think about what those sorts of tissues are. So if you've ever worked with a piece of raw meat, the whitish yellow is actually fat. And you're always going to see some fat around the coronary arteries especially and up toward the atria. Some hearts have much more fat on them than others. Then this brownish pink is muscle. And the heart is a muscle. So there are three kinds of muscle. There's skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscle. So what kind of muscle is this right here? Cardiac, skeletal, or smooth? If you said cardiac, you are correct, because the cardiac muscle, uh, cardiac means heart, is what pumps the blood within the heart, and it's involuntary. So we can't think about making our heart pump and have it pump. It just does it without conscious thought. You're also going to look for the apex. So the apex means point, tip, or peak, and this is the apex of the heart. And then up at the top of the heart, we can see various blood vessels. I find it fairly difficult to determine which blood vessels are which until we've opened up the heart. So I usually hold off on trying to figure that out until we do the internal anatomy. But I do see several blood vessels here. If I had to guess, I would guess that this is the aorta because it's big and has thick walls. But again, I'm never certain until I open up the heart. I'm pretty sure though. Okay, so up here we have these flaps and the flaps are called the auricles. Oracle comes from the Latin word for ear because they're thought to look sort of like ears. And the auricles lay atop the atria. So when you're looking at this heart, think about what's the right side of the heart and what's the left side of the heart. If you answered that this is the left side of the heart, you're correct. So even though it looks like the right on the screen, remember you have to look at it as though this were a person and you're looking at their face, so everything is backwards. So their right side is going to be on your left and their left side is going to be on your right. Now also think about the chambers and where they are. So I always remember that A is for atrium and an A points up. So the atria are in the top. If you think about a building, the atrium is the entrance hall of a fancy building. And atria means entrance. So they're at the top and that's where the blood comes in. So this is our left atrium. This is our right atrium. If you look down here at the bottom, I remember that V's point down and V is for ventricle. And so the ventricles are at the bottom. This is going to be where our left ventricle is, and you might even be able to push and feel a little bit of an opening. I can't really on that side. And this is the right ventricle. Maybe feeling a little bit of hollowness here where the right ventricle is, but it's sort of hard to tell. 
That is the external anatomy of the heart. We also have the coronary arteries, which are really important. Coronary, just like corona, uh, comes from the Latin word for crown. And they are called coronary arteries because they're thought to look like a crown or wreath around the heart. It's a little hard for me to see that, but you have several coronary arteries on your heart. And the coronary arteries branch off of the aorta, and they bring blood that has oxygen in it to the heart to actually feed the heart tissue. So oxygen and nutrients to feed the heart tissue. And if someone has a heart attack, this is where the blockage is. It's in one of the coronary arteries, because if they get blocked, then that heart tissue that's not getting oxygen or nutrients will die. The next step is going to be to bisect this heart or to slice it down the middle to separate the front from the back. And you can go to part two of the video if you want to see the internal anatomy of the heart.